But hopefully, okay, cool. Yep, that was cool. I actually appreciate that jump scare. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Flames Place. And today we're checking out Morgana, an indie horror game available over at HBO. And I will link in the description box down below, as well as links to my Discord, Patreon, and Twitter if you'd like to check any of those out. And the game takes place in a morgue. Where am I? With voice acting. And our character's name is Morgana. Look around your room and press E to interact with things. Oh, okay. Name, Morgana Festina Jones, legal guardian, Vincino Jones, patient number, blah, 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 birthday, September 12th, 2003, 2003. age, 18, date of admission, November 10th, 2021, room number 21, current, doctor to be assigned, diagnosis, PTSD, and depression. Oh, that, boy, this could be one of those games. Case information, Mrs. Jones was admitted by her father for being a danger to society. After a couple weeks of counseling, we deemed this to be untrue, but diagnosed her with PTSD and depression. It is, however, unclear as to why her father admitted her, and Morgana herself seems to not know the reason either. We'll try to schedule a meeting with her father. Last update, November 30th, 2021. I say one of those games because there is a habit of character has depression, character has PTSD, character has anxiety, and does bad things, or does uh, irrational, spooky things. Mom? Mom? Mom. 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 Flashbacks are actually an accurate occurrence. So, press tab to open inventory and look at current objectives. Find a way to unlock the main hall. <laughs> We're gonna definitely try to do that. Oh, I heard something. Oh, there's a flickering light down there. We definitely gotta go check that out. But first, the not flickering light, please. I'd like to check out this room. Can I turn this on? Oh, I can. And in here, I have picked up a key, which is, it's a red key. Okay, that's that's cool. No, oh, this is just pitch black. The, the door is locked. All right, so we gotta go to the flickering light room, it seems. Oh boy. There is something creaking around here, and I don't like that one bit. So do I have? To do s oh never mind. I was gonna say maybe the door's locked. I was gonna say maybe because I have the red key I can hit the red button, but that doesn't seem to be the case. This is a light. I could turn this on. Yay, lights. There's absolutely nothing in here. From what I can see. Maybe I find a flashlight and something will be more apparent to me. This is just a pitch black room. Which again uh, You going for a ride there, buddy? Okay. <laughs> Speak of the flashlight. How do I press Q? Okay. Oh, office room security. Okay. Don't really know what that what all oh, that was about. Uh, but with the flashlight. Oh, press Q to switch the flashlight on and off. Thanks. Well, this room doesn't have anything in it. Uh, oh, there was another room that that was dark in half the room. So maybe there's something on the bed. No. Oh, I can't open the cabinets. I love opening cabinets. It's like the best part of games to me. Seeing what wonders await me behind the small doors. Well. What is that? What is... Oh. It's a statue. It's a headless statue. Just chilling in the stair in, in the hallway. You know, like statues do. Why would you do this? Okay. One of three medical files. That's what it said in the bottom left-hand corner, too. I think I'm my my body's probably covering. Oh, seems like something is missing. Indeed, it's head. All right. Well, I have the flashlight, which hopefully will let me find the statue's missing head. Oh, can I just steal your head? Are you using it? I don't think you're really using it. I could probably just take that, but the game sadly disagrees. What is that? Also, room secure, office room unity, office desk, office chair, monitor, objects, and floor lamp. So it seems like that's an object list for whatever asset pack they used. Okay, I, I checked this room out already. I don't know why I looked again. But with the flashlight, maybe now I can find something else. Nope, nothing there. Oh, this door opened, and that's the spooky noise I was hearing. Oh, boy. 
and a less spooky picture. But I need this key from between the doll crotch. Okay. Flash, I turned itself off, and that uh, that happened. Huh. Now, what door was locked? There's. Let me just check. Double check that. Nope. Just wondering, because it seems like this is all like trigger based. Ah. So now the door opens. I see your feet seized. Really impressive that you know they they're able to stay up like that without sliding off the the uh, thing. Ah, and the blue key. Let me just. The blue key is in the toilet, and I can't really. There you go. Got it. That took a bit. <laughs> I had to get like the right, just the right angle for it. Uh, what do we got here? Ooh, corpse number one. Brain, heart, wounds, former cadaver, cadaveric state, drain body fluids. That sounds like something I shouldn't be doing as someone who just woke up in a, a hospital like this. Don't forget the safe code 6483. Ah, that's probably dot dot dot. Why, why the dot dot dots? Okay, not sure exactly why you need to give me dot dot dots, but you did give me dot dot dots. I got a safe code. Have not found a safe. Found a brain, you know. That's like the same thing, basically. It's the, the brain is the safe of knowledge and other deep insight that I say when rambling. Oh, there's a note. Name Morgana Faustina Jones, Guardian, blah, 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 This is after, there we go, a diagnosis update. After reaching Mrs. Jones, Mrs. Jones' father and getting to know more about her admission, conversation file has to still be finalized. We can diagnose her with dissociative amnesia. Dissociative amnesia occurs when a person blocks out certain events, often associated with stress or trauma, leaving the person able to remember important personal information. That is also accurate. Good job, game. <laughs> I'm actually somewhat proud. Uh, the only other game that I've seen that handled that kind of uh, that kind of affliction due to stress was Night in the Woods, surprisingly enough, which gave me whoo that gave me a little bit of um, mental issues. Six four eight three six four eight three. Hey, oh, it even makes a little boop beep boop boop boop. boop. That was cute. Got a statue head. I can go put the. Uh, Put the skull back on the statue. Hopefully get into that secret room. That's kind of blocking off. You're still there. That's good. Can I give him a high five? I want to give him a high five. I can't give him a high five. I'm a little sad now. Okay. Okay. Shut up, doll. Why, why is that chair still rocking? If that chair's a rocking. You better come a knocking because that's a possessed doll and we don't want that around here. Also, why would it still be rocking? It's gone from the chair... And this game just loves those jump scare sounds. Oh boy. Well, we got the statue head, so. Boop. <laughs> Why does it look like it's about to play rugby? <laughs> what is with that head? <laughs> Alright. We can go in here. We got ourselves a note. 83. I got 8351. Good. Good. 8351. Oh god. Okay, well, here's here's some notes. Sounded like it came from the morgue. Oh, it did, did it? Well, we'll check that out in a moment. After reaching Mrs. Jones' father, he told us about her behavior towards her mother. She would force her mother to buy her things the family was not able to afford. If she did not get what she wanted, she would threaten her with suicide. Her mother, scared and for the love of the child, would live on nothing. Live on nothing to make her child happy? Huh. Phrasing is a little bit off. Also, I have two copies of the same note. Kind of weird, but uh, can I get rid of one of them? No. Okay. Find the missing piece. Okay. Also, the objectives aren't quite uh, working. So X Y. Um, let me just write these down because I think that this is probably related to the color codes that were on the other wall. So it'd be X Y. I'm just gonna write this down because it didn't seem to actually copy it into my inventory. Bizarrely enough, the other ones did. Uh, two, three and 3-3. Three, three. All right, perfect. We got all the medical files as well. Look at me, being all fancy. All right, X and Y. So we got X, 3, 2, which is magenta pinkish. I'm just gonna put pink. We'll see if that works. And then yellow. And then 2, 3. 
Uh, yeah, that's right. I just want to make sure I was doing X, Y right. <laughs> two, three is purple. Purple. And three, three is blue. Then we have the safe code in our inventory, so I'm not too worried about having to recover that. Also, just kind of banging my face into a wall there because reasons. But hopefully, okay, cool. Yep, that was cool. I actually appreciate that jump scare. Oh boy. All right. Well, you know what? 8351. I'm just going to write this down. Because I'm going to go check out the morgue. She did say it sounded like it came from the morgue. So if that's the case, maybe a possible ending is going to the morgue and dying. Possibly. We'll see. Oh, that was the same room. I was like, why is that room so well lit? Oh, right. I did that. Uh, morgue was over this way. Right. Not there, but it was around this corner, I believe. It sounded like it came from the morgue. Oh, this door opens now. Oh, and then... I found a thing. Name is Susan Jones. Cause of death, self-die. Body was found in a car driven into the local lake. Oh. Huh. So she drove her mom to that. Interesting. That's honestly not where I expected the game to go, but I guess that makes sense with the notes that we were reading. Shut up, doll. We're just going to close that door. I don't want to deal with that thing. So the code is 8, 3, 5, and 1. The door's locked. Okay, that's, that's fine because we still have this one, which pink, yellow, purple, blue. What? Pink, yellow, purple. There you go. Hey, doors are open. Let the spooky times continue. Oh. Uh, so that's her mom's accident. Not really axe. Mom. Mom. It's all your fault, Morgan. Mom. Is with the voice acting for the dad. Mom. Mom. She tied herself because of you. Mom. Mom. You're not my daughter anymore. Mom. I'm sending you to an Mom. asylum. I mean, sending her to asylum is kind of weird. If she was under 18, I'd say, okay, I guess that's a reasonable thing. But she's 18, so you can just kick her out of your house. Really. But also, yeah, not really the best option when you are dealing with grief like that. Uh, this was interesting, for sure. Some, just, I gotta say, some scares got me pretty good, actually. That was impressive. Uh, that one where the things are, the, when they, uh, the cart rolled towards me, I... It got me pretty good. The sounds, not so much, but I hope you enjoyed this game, this video over Morgana. Thank you for playing. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy it, let me know in the comments down below. Give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate that. And also make sure to subscribe so you get updates for the latest new content. And as always, have a great day. Remember to burn bright. I will talk to you all later. Bye.